Tonight is live. We live, baby! What's up, everybody? We live, baby! What's good? J Dog in here, as always, with the one, the only. Philly Cheese. What's good? What's good? <laughs> it's game night. What's up, oh. Jay? Thank you for uh, being the first one in this lobby. I think, technically. Pretty I don't much. know. I've been, I've been, uh, I've been keeping my eye on uh, Von Bree for a while. I see you. I see yeah, you. Von Bree's always here. And never says anything. Always, always here. Doesn't say anything. But it's okay, cause we sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit back, relax. Oh boy! Oh wait, was it too much? <laughs> Are we gonna get banned now? Is that too much? Elite yeah. Cast episode twenty-seven. The tournaments are real, and why are they real? Well, there's a lot of money being thrown out. Yeah, dude, There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on, dude. Freaking um, the last the last Dota two tournament was like eighteen mil prize pool, dude. Yeah. Oh was... my god. Insanity. Where where do they get that money? I mean, Sponsors. half of it's crowdfunded. Where'd your sister go? Hi, she's in the room. No, she's not. Yeah, well, she's probably outside. Thanks. Hmm. Bye. Told me why I went downstairs to warn people not to come in my room, but you know, just don't listen Sorry. to my request. Anyway, um, let's get to uh tonight. Today's tonight's episode started. Whatever. Um. So, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. You know, it's coming. It's gonna. Be, <laughs> it's coming. It's it's gonna be. I don't know. I've I've seen some good trailers, some eh, kind of iffy trailers, but you know, Hasbro's on top of it, man. They got it. Making are. those action figures, dog. Is it The Force Awakens? The Force Awakens. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all y'all need to check out these uh new Star Wars action figures. <laughs> Come on, do not take them out of the box, though. You will They're, lose value. <laughs> they will lose value. They will depreciate, and you will not like it in five years or whenever. It, you know, if the movie oh, tanks. This guy looks kind of cool. Yeah, dude. I, you know, the, the whole cross lightsaber yeah. thing is kind of interesting. I mean, it, it really is. What are the two little nubs on the side going to do? Uh, stop from getting your hand chopped off. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Luke, there's a fundamental... <laughs> you could've used that. There's a fundamental problem in your lightsaber. <laughs> you needed hilts. <laughs> but, um, I don't, that was actually, that was actually a topic of debate for uh, the longest time. Like, everybody was like... Oh my god, you can't have a focus crystal that goes in three different directions. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh my god. Uh, you can't have a hilt on a lightsaber. It just doesn't make sense. Mm. <laughs> brr, 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 brr. Like, well, there's something to have controversy over or argue about. I mean, internet forums will explode. I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't be Disney if they didn't like throw some weird shit in there, right? Uh, not not that I'm against it or anything. I mean, I, claymores are cool and all, but I mean, like, people don't want their hands getting chopped off no more. Everybody's like that Luke guy. Yeah, let's learn from lesson. him. <laughs> <laughs> let's all learn from him. He made a mistake, and we're not doing it again. <laughs> uh, I used to love these little action figures when I was younger. Dude, I had I used to have um, I used to be one of those kids who was like his. Like, I used to watch all the Star Wars movies, but, like, my dad would always, like, not not necessarily force me, but he was always a Star Trek side of the family. Uh, so I'd be, like, I'd be, like, half, like, everybody else on my family would be, like, oh, Star Wars, and my, my dad would be, like, dude, Star Trek. Like, <laughs> it's it makes sense. It makes sense. So I had, um, I had a U.S. Enterprise, um... Like replica ship is it made noises it was all right, and then I had a um, X-wing fighter freaking wow, replica yeah, but nice. of course those all like kind of like broke off like oh yeah let's put it in like three five different pieces and give it to a little kid and expect him <laughs> to know what to do with it. <laughs> I don't even oh, know. 
It was like it was like they were on the X Wing. They were like it was like the plastic, um, like you know you know how the um, guns look on the side. They yeah. were literally just plastic like moldings that you just snap onto the wing. Yeah. And they like like one was bent. I lost one of them. The one of them was the other one was broken. And I think I don't know. I think the fourth one's actually fine. But I don't even remember where it is. It's probably dug in my closet somewhere. <laughs> we will dig it out one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> we'll resurrect it. Hey guys, I'm flying the next wing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I've been playing Fallout Shelter on uh, Android. Not that Android. It's actually out. Fallout Shelter has been released for Android as of, what was it, the 13th, I believe? So it's been out for a good... I downloaded it a couple days ago. It's been out for a good five, six days now, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I've seen some pretty insane stuff. Like, not only only did it come out for Android, but they... um, They upgraded the shit out of it, dude. Like, so many updates, like... um, there was never mole rats or, um, I keep wanting to call them scythe claws for whatever reason, but every time I think of a scythe claw, I think of fucking Pokemon or some shit. But, um, yeah, so, uh, with the new up, the new, uh, Fallout Shelter update, Android compatibility, so everybody on Android can now play. I'm pretty sure they increased the speed of pregnancy. Um, <laughs> did a little tr- did a little twinking on the resources. There's now mole rat uh, exterminations and the scythe claws raids, which are actually really annoying. I actually had my first one last night and I wasn't really prepared, and they just kind of came through and started wrecking shit. I think <laughs> like three of my guys died. Luckily, I haven't like, had them hit me yet. Oh my god, dude! They're so. I don't think I don't think they'll my actually. My people are not hit. ready at all. <laughs> they ain't ready. I don't think they'll actually send them out until, like, you have a decent number of dwellers, maybe. Mm. Maybe, like, 50 or more or something. But, um... That's a good number. Actually, speaking of which, I haven't, like, I haven't actually sent anybody to the wasteland in, like, weeks. So, they've just all been inside just producing, training, fucking, you know? Yeah. (laughs) Making them babies, dog. (laughs) I've been just trying to, like, keep the uh, food bar and the energy bars, all that, you know, at a sustainable level, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm at 10% happiness, and I'm not a very good overseer. That 10%, though. Yeah. That 10%. Okay, VX, dude, what is going on? Dude, this kid is on fire right now. He, um, he asked me to make a, uh... Twitter header for him a couple, oh, yeah. couple days ago, um, and I'm not sure if he wanted a profile uh, AVR or not, but uh, he started, so, like, I didn't I didn't start it for him, but he uh, basically said that he wanted to get in graphics himself, so I was like, dude, go ahead, get into it, start practicing, practice makes perfect, mm-hmm. and, dude, this kid has progressed so, so far, dude. Like wow. he, um, it's impressive. Yeah, one of one of the first ones he sent me. Like it was, it was good. It was really good. Like he got the blending down and everything. And then the one he sent me today was just, dude. It looked it looked professional, bro. Really? Like I, dude. Wow. Okay, VX. Like just keep going with it. I think. Well, hats that, off to. Let me see if I could pull it up for you, dude. Like it was, um. I want to see it. Oh yeah, dude. Like, dude, what do you what do you want that as your logo, dude? Come on, that's pretty good, yeah. Like, I mean, hats off, okay, hats so off, dude. Keep going. Hats off. Keep practicing. It's you're getting there, man. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm not Photoshop and Illustrator. You just gotta mess with. I'm I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a little competition here, but it's all good, man. Hey, you could join Elite Studios. Come on. Come on, the offer's there, man. The offer's on the table. (laughs) On the table. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, dude, thanks for joining. Keep photoshopping, man. Don't ever stop. You're, you're getting better every single time. 
So, uh, how many people do you have in your uh, Fallout shelter? 70. I think I just hit 76 last night. I haven't even hit 20. <laughs> Dude, I've. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, literally, three, two, three days after the game came out, like, my friends are posting all these, all these vaults of, like, oh, hey, like, they already got a gym and shit. What? Like, you need, like, 50 dwellers for a gym. And uh. it's like, dude, how, like, how'd you get dwellers that fast? Like, did you just stop all production one day and just, like, all right, dwellers, <laughs> sex party. <laughs> <laughs> Sex orgy in the vault. Go. But, I mean, do you just have to keep all the females pregnant? I, I guess so, they can man. work and produce while they're pregnant, right? Yeah, they can. Oh, okay. But, I mean, it's... You gotta find that happy medium. Because if you have too many dwellers, you're gonna run out of food and water. Yeah. And if you run out of food and water, you're probably gonna run out of power eventually. Or vice versa. And the happiness know? goes down. <laughs> That ten percent though, and then you give them a stim pack, and they don't even heal to full health because that little red. Oh no, you do. Counter health yeah, you bar. need to get those rataways, bro. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, it's. Oh, fucking... I don't even have a science lab yet. Yeah, you need to get that, dude. That's all radiation. Man. Oh, <laughs> you guys are yeah. radiation. Hey, okay, VX. Thanks for following, man. Thank you. All right, OVX. Oh okay, VX. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did that um, audio play? Yeah. Okay. I, I just got it really low, so uh, it didn't go right. through the mic. But, um, man, dude, keep it up, photoshopping, everything you do. Don't ever stop. Like, I mean, if you find, if you, if, like I say all the time to a lot of people, if you find people that don't like what you do, don't it's associate with them. There's always going to be haters. Just brush your shoulders off. Push your shoulders off, but I don't think that's how the song goes. I'm not sure. So, some, some about brushing your shoulders off, but we're getting there. We're gonna, we're gonna create a rap group one day, and it'll be, it'll be all right. It'll be all just right. all right. <laughs> just all right. We're not gonna go too crazy with that. Oh my gosh! But um, yeah, Fallout Shelter out for Android. Go ahead, pick it up on the App Store or is Google free. Play Store, or whatever. Yes, it is free. There are micro transaction transactions if you want to, but yeah. it's not one of those games where it's You don't need it. You definitely don't need micro transactions. Like no, I mean just send a settler out into the wasteland. Yeah. Like when when you get big enough, you could just you could just send a guy out to the wasteland, max rataways, max stim packs. He's gonna be out there for like three days at least. Yeah, at least. And he'll come back with, like, an obscene amount of armor and a weapon. You know, how do you carry that? Hey, what's that perk in Fallout where, um, uh, you could just carry, like, 50 pounds more weight? Oh, the, um, oh, man, it had a hell of a funny name, but I can't think of it. I don't know, but there's that perk. Uh, and maybe that guy chose, <laughs> chose that when he really They all got that. the perks. <laughs> they all failed the test. <laughs> but um yeah i i don't know i think i'm i kind of want to get back into it but i'm kind of at that point where like i'm kind of just slowly getting people in and making sure that i'm not falling too low on my resources mm. which which are surprisingly doing really good until i got raided the other night oh. <laughs> apparently scythe Cl scythe claws can steal resources with their <laughs> Claws, I guess. Like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal your food. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't even know. But yeah, wow. I mean, I've seen some pretty, pretty intense vaults already. People all the way down the level is just like, I, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. Don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I finally, I finally put a. Um, a second science lab so I can produce more stim packs the next time I get a cycle attack. <laughs> this time I'll have 30 and you won't all die. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to the scythe claw attacks. Yeah, ev eventually if you just like if you just give it time and let your resources accumulate, uh, you'll eventually like get a bunch of caps that you 
basically don't know what to do with until you actually have to upgrade something. Mm. It's kind of, um, I'm at the point where I could get nuclear reactors and that shit costs like 9000 an upgrade. I was at like 44 k and then I was at like 15 in two seconds. I was like, oh, I better stop upgrading. <laughs> 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 the, these caps aren't going too far. Well, I find like uh, all my settlers have really bad stats. Yeah, you like, really low the, stats. It's like you really, you really just have to, you really just have to go with it until you can start training people. Yeah, I try to give them like clothing that boosts certain stats, and then yeah, that's that's pretty much the only way. Is just yeah. like, 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 dude, I got, I don't know why, but after I got the first. Oh, dude, did I tell you I got two Dr. Lees? No. Two special Dr. Lees. Like, that was a tumor chick, bro. <laughs> that was a fucking chick. tumor chick, and now I got two of them. Like, are they... Uh, the one that was pregnant for, like, yeah. ten days or something? Dude, she was pregnant for, like, two months. Oh. <laughs> it was fucking... Dude, it was so glitched out. It was ridiculous. And now I got two of them. <laughs> and, oh, my God... The fucking... I don't even get it. Like, the kid didn't even have any special stats. It's like... It's like, all right, you're gonna... So, they have to become an adult? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they gotta... They become a child for, like... um, I think it's, like, five hours or something. Hmm. And then they become an adult. But he had no special stats. Like, it was a fucking... It was a regular fucking kid. And it's like, dude, I just had two special dwellers get it on and this bitch took two months of labor and you know the kid's just like dar, dar. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean at least they updated it man they updated it yeah it's on android go check it out fallout shelter something else you guys should check out windows 10 yeah, speaking of updates, Come we on. updated the Windows 10. For free, by the way. For free. For free! Uh, all those programs you got illegally for free aren't going to work anymore. Yeah, um, I don't I don't know if they actually implemented it yet or if they're just talking about it, I but... Um, it is, I don't know. I don't have any pirated programs. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't pirated a program since I was like 12. So, I don't... You just I, admitted to a crime. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we're going to get shut down now. Sorry, guys. EliteCast 27 is where we stop. EliteCast 28, j Dog can go to jail. <laughs> no. oh my God. Yes, it does come with waffle fries. <laughs> Fallout Shelter comes with waffle fries. Faux free. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so according to the uh, ELUA terms and conditions inside of Windows 10, you know, uh, all that crap, at least in Europe, some people have been reading that they're basically taking precautions about, uh, it says more or less that every other update, uh, they will periodically check for unlicensed free software and peripherals so that also that also brings up the fact of Mm -hmm. i mean of course with more security you're gonna have less stability every single time it's it's always a trade-off yeah so i mean they we, we can assume they did it correctly or we can also assume that somebody's gonna buy a legit peripheral or a legit copy of a game one day and Windows 10 is just gonna derp out and be like no you can't play this you can't connect this device and somebody's just gonna get really mad there's there's always that trade-off with security and productivity within the uh, computer science industry more or less what if a program doesn't even have a um like a proper authorization process. Like, what if it's just some junky third-party program? Well, I mean, I I don't I don't think they'll go that far. I mean, because I'm sure I'm sure everybody who actually wants to participate in this anti-piracy program is gonna like register something with Microsoft, uh, being yeah. like, 
hey, these are the keys we're giving out. This is what's going to happen. This is what the real program and code looks like. And anything else, just deny completely. So, I mean, who knows? I mean, it could be, it could actually catch some piraters. It could, you know, piss some people off. I mean, that's that's Microsoft for you. Who I mean, knows? it could always like downgrade back to Windows eight. Yeah. Or seven. I, I mean, I got my recovery disk full free. Full free. Full free. Yeah. Uh, finally got. So I got Windows ten on my laptop after like two months of calling HP and being like. Yo, can you guys um, send me some recovery discs? Because mm-hmm. I'm not in a position to pay for recovery discs, so I kind of need the free upgrade. They they finally they finally bowed to my wishes. Finally, finally. Jeez. Fucking Hababi. Habab. Hababi. <laughs> Habib and Habab. But um, so getting in, getting into a little tournament talk. Next to IEM, because IEM awesome, and <laughs> IEM is awesome. I, IEM is pretty good. It is. Um, but, so Riot Games, uh, the makers of League of Legends, is having a new, they're submitting a new, uh, I guess, group stage format for their competitions now. It seems pretty interesting. Uh, what it, what it seems... Um, well, what it does do is that they're basically they're basically not announcing the stage after the group stage. So therefore, mm-hmm. teams can't predict who they're going to be playing against, and they can't, you know, yeah, straight like up that. throw games. Yeah, you know, just because a rival, you know, is gonna get in the finals. Like, I mean, I know I know some people like. Like, they wouldn't do that. Just straight, oh, you guys are going to get in the tournament, but if we lose, they won't. So we're just going to throw the game because we hate them more than us losing kind of thing. But, I mean, I guess that's just personal preference. I mean, if you're not winning any money, it's just like, why not? You know? (laughs) Why not ruin somebody else's chances if I'm not getting money? Yeah, it, sometimes it goes back and forth. Like yeah, that. I mean it. It just it just ruins the whole tournament scene, and they um they're pretty much aiming to fix that with this update. And I think I think it's gonna work out great. Like a blind. It's a J card. J card two thousand. <laughs> What's good, man? Welcome to the stream. A week cast twenty seven. We're going up. Dude, one yeah. day, one day we're gonna have to just drop the episodes and just be like, "All right, it's just, it's just a week cast. Like we're just, <laughs> we're just here. We don't, we don't have titles we're anymore. Here every we're, week, <laughs> exactly. We're here every week. We don't need a title. We don't need an introduction. One day, one day, when we pass like three hundred follows or something, <laughs> we'll see if that ever happens. That'll be the day, right? <laughs> That'll be the day." But uh, yeah, J Card, welcome to the stream. What's good, man? Oh man. But yeah, like I said, new League of Legends. Can't talk. League of Legends. Turning around. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> All right. All right. So the League of Legends, they're gonna do the group stages, which yeah. is uh, probably an improvement in my eyes because. Uh, a lot of other tournaments do this, and it works in a. I don't know. Well, so don't see so what they're kind of doing. It. Well, it's not. It's not that they're bringing the group stages to because the group stages. It's like a Swiss. I I think the official name is a Swiss uh, bracket, mm. which is all the group stages. But what they're doing is when they go from the group stages to the actual uh, eight player brackets or eighteen brackets. You're not going to be able to predict who's going to be in those next stage brackets, is what mm. what this rule basically implies. So, like I said, no more match predicting, no more people throwing games, no more shitty tournaments. And you know that's what we as viewers want is like yeah, we really. don't want it. We don't want to see a team atten- intentionally throw a game 
just because, you know, they can't win it and they're going to ruin somebody else's chances at winning it. Mm-hmm. So, so I mean, as long as there's better competition, I think it's a win for everybody. It is. It really is. Uh, real, real quickly, kind of shifting subjects. Uh, I found a little gem today. Uh, it's a <laughs> these kids straight up built a Lego castle <laughs> from oh, yeah. uh, Zelda Twilight Princess, and it looks phenomenal. Just go ahead, just, just check that out for like two seconds. Just look at it. I mean, that's a lot of detail. In Dude, one castle. I know. It's like... And, and they actually build it with Legos. Like, it's yeah. not it's not a Minecraft castle or anything. This is legit <laughs> Legos. Physical people, like, this putting blocks. You pixel know. art. Pixel art. There you go. Exactly. Not that I don't like pixel art, but this is impressive. Dude, I know, right? Uh, I don't... I kind of don't even... Like, half of those don't even look like Lego pieces, honestly. <laughs> but I mean, it could be. I just I don't know what sets he had to buy to get all that stuff. Yeah, you, you know, you know, he was like some kid that got like five mm-hmm. tubs of Legos for his birthday every single fucking year or something. You know, <laughs> like he he was just waiting like every year he'd build another layer of the castle, just waiting for his birthday. Like, up oh, where's my next tub? I need <laughs> to put on another layer of my castle. My tower's not finished. <laughs> But yeah, oh my god, this um, Legend of Zelda of Hyrule Castle from Twilight Princess, made directly from Legos. It looked amazing. Go ahead, check that link out. Oh man, uh, Lucar Lucarobic, Lucarobic, right? Lucaro B C. Did I say that right? I probably didn't say that right. Mm, but it's it okay. Insane. It's kind of okay, but it's not okay because I said it wrong and I should say it right. But welcome <laughs> to the stream, man. Welcome to the stream. Elite cast, bro. We are happy you are all here right now. We really are. Um, Legends of Zelda, dude. I mean, I just can't. I just can't fathom how these people make these. Instead of posting the link, just tell us what it is, and I'll try and Google it and bring it up. But yeah, go right, as of right now, we don't know what you're talking about. The link just gets deleted right away. Oh yeah, but um, I don't. I I just don't get how people can like imagine, like not only imagine how it has to be made, but be able to do, it, especially on Minecraft, like. It takes a lot of patience yeah. and dedication. Like some of some of the big some of the big Minecraft creations are just so insane. It's just like you gotta be in creative mode and you gotta you gotta fly like so high just to see like what the p- image is gonna be. And then you gotta fly back down and place a couple blocks, fly <laughs> back up, make sure it's okay, fly back down like that takes a it just takes a lot of dedication and vision and I mean I appreciate it like these guys these guys are good and really good at what they do but so hats off to you sir (laughs) Lego Zelda Castle looks amazing dude amazing I think I'm (laughs) We should totally, totally bring them in on stream, yo. How long, <laughs> how long did that take you? How, how? Oh, oh, five days? Oh no, a month? Five oh, okay. days. Okay, <laughs> five days. Yeah, like right. five years. <laughs> five years. Maybe not that long. I, I could see months, but um, I mean, that's quite a project. It is. It really is. If you look at the picture, it looks like I don't know if it's an angle problem, but it looks like it's like you know up to his chest height. It does. And, like, it kind of does, but. I don't <laughs> like I said, the scale and the way people do it is just pretty insane. And hats off to all of them. But uh, moving on from the amazingness of Legos, who know who here has heard of Splatoon? Come on, Ra- raise your hand. Come on. The the Nintendo game Splatoon is now getting its own one million dollar <laughs> tournament. 
Million bucks. Coming million, to Japan. Million dollar tournament. Japan. In Japan. Japan. <laughs> of course it's coming to Japan. Like, why not? But this is like... That's a lot of money. This is one of the first, like, major n- Nintendo tournaments since, like, s- the Super Smash Brothers tournaments, pretty much. Like, it really is. It. I mean... I, I haven't played Splatoon personally, but I've seen it played, and it just looks... It looks insane. Like, it's like a first-person shooter, but it's also like a territory grab kind of thing. Yeah. It's, it's pretty interesting, dude. And yeah. I mean, I'm, I want to see it broadcast, dude. Like, I'm Japanese... Sure we will on Switch. Yeah, Japanese or not, I want to see this thing broadcasted. Yeah. Oh my god, he's going in the sun. And he shoots him with the paint. Oh my god, it's a travesty. It's a travesty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but really, dude. I mean, Splatoon tournament, that's like... That's like... That's next to Rocket League getting its own tournament. So like, I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a little... Ter- I don't know about a million dollars, but... Not not for Rocket League yet. Not, not that I've heard of, at least. No, but... Nah, but- I'm sure one day. I, I think it's going to get there. I I think Rocket League is another one of those games that's really going to get there. And um, a lot of people like that game right now. Oh, my God. So many people. And uh, they're going to... So they're supposed to do cross-platform soon. Really? Um, I actually... I'm not sure if they did it with the, next, with the last DLC or uh, if they did it with an update. But... Yeah, uh, so it's supposed to work cross-platform, but from what I heard, you can't party up with a different platform, but you can play against. So you can party up with PC players, but play against PlayStation players. That's weird. But you can't, you can't make a party with PC and PlayStation players, so, um, we'll see how that works out. Oh, uh, Furly. Furly, I, I am so single. <laughs> I'm so single. What's mingle, dog? Wine and dine. Wine and dine, maybe. <laughs> but oh, Rocket League's going to be big, dude. Yeah, I mean. It's getting there. I want to I I throw it. Yet, it th- but I'm about to get it. Dude, you should. I mean, it's, it's tw- I think it's like 20 bucks on Steam, but it's. It's pretty worth it for a time killer. Like, if you got a bunch of friends that play it, it's pretty damn fun. It really is. And I want to start running. Uh, I want to start running Rocket League tournaments, COD, Hots, Starcraft, Smash Brothers. Dude, we're gonna have it all. We're really gonna have it all. But I mean, I need a team to do it, guys. Come on, don't make me put applications out there. <laughs> That's the lame way to do it. Come on, we all know that. <laughs> um, oh man, speaking of Black Ops Three, I do not. I I still I don't have the PS4, man. I wish I did. I really wish I did. If I I would be so on top of Black Ops Three, yeah. like we probably wouldn't even have this stream right now. I'd be <laughs> like... Black Ops 3 stream. <laughs> I'd be like, Phil, I'm sorry I'm sick. I can't do a week cast tonight. I'm going to be <laughs> streaming Black Ops 3 by myself. <laughs> but, um, no, so, um, the beta, beta for Black Ops 3 dropped on PS4 last night. Go ahead and get it. And if you, you have the a premium. Yeah. Wait, what? Don't you need premium? Yes, you do... From what I've heard, you do need PlayStation Plus in order to play it. Yeah. Which kind of sucks, in a way. Uh, I don't know why they did that. Most people already have it. Yeah, most people have it. But I I guess it kind of makes sense um, if it's like an exclusive download. But I think if you pre-ordered it from Xbox, you just get a straight uh, DLC code, which you can uh, put in on launch day so um i'm i'm ready for the xbox one version next week coming out on the 25th 26th next week i think yeah sounds about right um 
but I'm I'm excited to at least try it. I yeah. really am. I know so many people are going to be on it. I know and the bow with the explosive bolt seems so OP. Oh my god, I just, I'm going to get I'm going to be so happy playing it, but I'm going to get so annoyed at the same time. I just I see it coming. I foresee it happening. I don't know. It's going to be a new game. It really is. And I'm I'm really excited for that. Like Black Ops 3 is coming. It's here. The bait is here. And for those of you that don't know, they've added a lot of features in. Um, they don't they don't exactly have the same exosuits that they had in Advanced Warfare, which is fucking amazing, by the way. <laughs> so you can you can wall run. It kind of um, kind of smooths out the whole motion transference. Um, you still get that double jump. Kind yeah, of you still you still get a short little double jump, but you can't like can't like fucking push 20 feet in the air tum, 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 like shoot people from above oh, yeah. but um yeah wall running better movement uh better perks uh the guns look amazing the protect and ban system that is what i really like i like it's not it's not even part of the it's not even really part of the gameplay it's just it's just it's that meta factor dude um. It's that meta map. So you can protect a map and ban a map. Yeah, well, not a map. So it's right. actually um, when you play when you play league or ranked or uh, no, the new official term is arena. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. It's arena. I'm sorry, guys. I'm Black Ops Three fans. But <laughs> um, so when you go into arena, each person will take turns on each team protecting or banning a perk. Uh, weapon or uh, score streak. So uh, the first two players of each team basically race against each other in to ban and protect. So the f so only the first two players get to pick, but they race against each other and what they pick, and then it moves on to the next two, the next two, eventually until you have eight protected or banned items, perks, whatever. So okay. it kind of, like I said, it messes with the meta. It every single game is gonna be different, especially in tournaments. Like, um, oh, I mean, yeah. if somebody is wrecking shop with a SMG, you're gonna want to shut that down next map. You know, if somebody is wrecking shop with an AR or a certain perk or a certain specialist class, you're gonna want to shut it down. Yeah. Yeah. So And then that'll throw that person off their game. Yeah. That's like their best gun. That Perfect. it's it's real it's really gonna be a game changer. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited cool. to watch it, you know, more than I'm actually excited to play the actual system. Like I I still wanna play the game, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be watching those competitions. Who bans what? When they ban it? And who's gonna get shut down? Who's gonna have an amazing game, game one? And who's just gonna get their ass kicked on game three? Like, you know, it's gonna be. It's just gonna. It's just gonna hype the competition. It really is. And speaking of competition, the new the new Codcaster mode looks so clean, dude. <laughs> I haven't oh, seen that yet. Oh my god! It just, oh, I just can't. If you thought, if you thought the Black Ops Two Codcaster was nice, this is, this just pushes the limits. Like, it it brings some aspects from COD Two Codcaster, but it just, it puts it, it puts the rest of it out there that Black Ops Two didn't have. You can actually uh, customize. Well, not exactly. I don't think you can customize the logos, but you can choose the logos for each different team, and you can actually put team names on the top. So it'll it'll say the team's names, you know, up top here, you know, instead of relying on an overlay or some other some uh, other production person to be changing the team names all so the time. So that's nice. It's like right there in game. Yeah, you can just you know, freaking optic gaming verse fucking phase or something like it's gonna be that much simpler hmm. so i mean i'm i'm ready for black ops 3 honestly i really am yeah you and a lot of other people just can't <laughs> wait 
Uh, that and Star Wars Battlefront, dude. Because, <laughs> man, I thought I thought this game this year was gonna be terrible for games. I really no did. No way. But after so there is a Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, oh picture. yes, there is a. Uh, we found alternative. We found a gem for you guys. A little PS4 action. <laughs> a little PS4 action. Um, it's um, it's an alternative kind of cover to the exclusive uh, PlayStation uh, exclusive for Battlefield Star Wars. Um, it's got. I think the controller is pretty much the same, right? Yeah, uh, I haven't actually seen the. Um, it's like actually, a white controller. With I think I've buttons. seen it once, but. Uh, but that I like looks, the artwork on the back there. Yeah, that looks really sick. Like yeah. I can, I can get down with that. <laughs> I can get down with that. Of course, Star Wars Battlefront coming first on Xbox One. So I mean, PlayStation gets COD. Xbox gets Star Wars. I mean, it's not that bad. It's I not mean, that bad. I, you I, win some, you lose some. Yeah. I could I could take an extra week to get my Black Ops beta. Like it's not gonna kill me. I can I can fill my time with other things. <laughs> but I mean, Star Wars Battlefront Black Ops Three coming to you. <laughs> late late 2015. And uh, only it wasn't sooner. I know, right? Uh, Speaking of PlayStation, real quick. <laughs> PS4. So. Everybody, most everybody who has an Xbox knows about the Xbox preview program where uh, select, a select number of people are basically chosen to receive updates before the masses, more or less. Okay. So they get, to, they get to test the updates, uh, they get to provide feedback, do surveys, uh, they get a little incentives like... I've been a preview member for the last year now, and uh, I think uh, they gave us, I think the last thing they gave us was a Gears of War uh, beta to the new, the new remastered. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that was, like, I'm not, I'm not really good with Gears of War online, but I mean, it looks, it looks nice. It really does. And of course, uh, the Battlefield they got a battlefield community um, like test server which by the way nobody is on so it's not really like it's not really a test environment if you can't even play it so got to step that, that got to step that up EA come on guys <laughs> but uh, so PS4 it's coming out with their own preview program more or less we're going to um, I People are going to be randomly selected to test future firmware updates for the PS4, which is going to be pretty cool. I mean, you know. What if it just, like, breaks your PS4? <laughs> <laughs> I that's, hope they reimburse you. That's where you get a liability lawsuit. <laughs> that's, yeah. I mean, I, th <laughs> I think I'm sure under the terms and conditions, like, if this if this update breaks your console, it's not our fault, kind of thing. Blah blah blah. But um, I'm sure they'll do some kind of reimbursement. But yeah, that's interesting. PS, you know, it's always it's always a back and forth with Xbox and PlayStation. They're they're always following in the footsteps of each other. Hmm. And I can't I can't figure out if it's annoying or if it's good. <laughs> it's like you want. Between two different, two radically different consoles, like, do you want them to be completely different, or do you want them to have, you know, similarities here and there? Mr. Gamer Every Day, what is good, man? Welcome to the stream. That is what we do. We game every day. What's yeah. good, man? Welcome to a week cast. We are glad to have you here. Where we just talk about whatever you want to talk about, or talk about things we already have planned to talk about. <laughs> you, usually we have topics. But you know, if you have questions or you want to talk about something specific, just go ahead and type into the old chat. Get around. Elite to cast it. where we sometimes talk about games. 
Oh, man. How's everybody doing tonight, by the way? Thank you all for coming in. You know, we we wouldn't be doing this without you guys. Like, yeah. the fans are what make Twitch, make a week cast. Make, make me get out of bed in the morning. Make, exactly. <laughs> the only reason I get out of bed <laughs> is for you guys. That's... I that's actually and another shout true. out to infamous Pat is in the chat. Come on, man! Come on, y'all got to talk, man. He hasn't be, said anything yet. Be but interactive. We see you. We see you. <laughs> but uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, we have a little bit more Star Wars Battlefront news. Dude, and so, uh, if you haven't heard, it doesn't have single player, which uh, can upset some people. Um, yeah. No. Well, I mean. I mean, Star Wars has always had a really good storyline, uh, so I could see why a lot of people are upset about this, but um, they I will, don't know, that multiplayer trailer just makes me want to play multiplayer. Yeah, almost, they will have the co-op missions, though. Apparently. Yeah, the co-op missions, but how much story is going to be in that? Like, from what I've seen, Not much. Uh, Admiral Akbar is like, you know, get to the starship, get out of there. And he's not really, like, telling a story or anything. Yeah, exactly, but... Um, I don't know. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like you know. Um, I don't know if you remember Battlefield Three, but they kind of had they kind of had missions on the side where you can just co-op with your buddy, and it was like right. it was like five missions or some shit, complete bullshit. But you still unlock stuff for multiplayer, you know. Uh huh. Basically promoting the multiplayer, and so uh, what what I thought was interesting about that article is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> EA developer straight up said there is no single player because nobody plays yeah, single player. Nobody likes single player. Like, come on. What I what mean, about us that don't have friends, man? What if we don't have friends to play with? I want to play by myself. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. Is the Battlefield series really a game about storylines? No. Nah. Nah, it's about shooting people up. Yeah. And this one... It's like EA is definitely going in that direction. I don't, I don't trust EA with like a storyline as you know as good as this. Yeah. You know, this isn't like Bad Company, yeah. where it's just like the storylines. Like, I guess it's a storyline. Yeah. <laughs> there's characters. There's <laughs> like kind it's of more, a plot. It's more comedy than story. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, in my raw opinion, uh, I'm not disappointed. There's no storyline because it might have sucked. So yeah. So I, let's just... if they focus on the multiplayer and it looks good as all the videos, like I'm not gonna complain. I really so, won't. Infamous Pat's talking about what about all the new games for Xbox One coming soon? Well, Mr. Gamer Every Day wants to know our favorite game first. Real oh, quick. this question again. Oh, I, I keep forgetting what I answer, so I'm <laughs> sure I have a different think, answer uh, every week. Mine was uh, back in the SOCOM 2 day, or yeah, SOCOM 2 days for PlayStation 2. It was like the first online shooter I played, and it was just addicting. Uh, first one that comes to my mind, Boulder's Gate for the PC. Oh, uh, yeah. You yeah. say Boulder's Gate every time. Do, it do just I? takes you a minute to remember. <laughs> it, takes, <laughs> it always takes me a minute to remember. But, uh... I'm going to take my pills this morning. <laughs> oh, my God. But, um, yeah, Boulder's Gate. Like, a good good D&D classic. classic RPG, you know. If you want to go back in the day, uh, they... Uh, Bulldog, I believe, is their company name. Actually, made an enhanced edition to Baldur's Gate, which kind of puts in a little couple new aspects, but it brings back the original game and all its content. So, of course, I comp the shit out of that, <laughs> and I've been playing that um, off and on. Like, it, it's not one of those games where I'll be addicted to it for like a week, but I'll always be like. You know what? I feel like playing some Boulder's Gate right now. I really do. <laughs> but yeah, but, uh, that's that's my game. What about all those Xbox One games coming out soon? Oh my god. <laughs> There's oh, they're way too many, man. So many. So wait, am I reading this right? A Metal Gear Solid game is coming to Xbox One? Yes. What? That's like a PlayStation. Exclusive yes, uh, for so long. Fan, uh, 
Yeah, uh, Phantom Pain is uh, coming for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, I believe. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe so. so uh, Forza Motorsport 6. Oh my god, that's going to be that's insane. That's going to be good. Those graphics are just to die for. Oh my god, I've never seen, like, <laughs> knock on wood, I've never seen a more realistic game to date. Uh, of course, other than, you know, uh, Battlefront looks fucking sexy as shit, dude. <laughs> uh, we got, oh, uh, what is it? Black Ops 3, Star Wars, um, uh, we got a couple new, um, we got Rainbow Six Siege. That is that coming? Is that coming out for Xbox One? Yeah, it is, huh? Uh, I think so. I'll try and find it on this list. But um, yes. the classic is coming back, and it is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Oh my God! <laughs> yes. I don't know if you Dude, guys remember those games. They cannot. They cannot screw up on that game. They really. Can't. I really hope it's not cheesy. Like the original ones were good, but then like I think after. I think three and beyond just got like yeah, so cheesy. The the original was the best. Like you can't, you just can't beat it. Yeah, you really can't. I uh, I oh, would take Bob Burnquist uh, every time and just manual the fuck until I got like two million multiplier. <laughs> um, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Yep, coming out. Um, as so well as the gold edition. Yep. So it's been uh, delayed until December, unfortunately. Just Dance 2016. I know you're excited for that. Oh, totally, dude. My connect is so ready <laughs> for Just Dance. Like oh, I'm gonna be in my man. room just. Unks, 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 There's gonna be an Adventure unks. Time game. What? No. Adventure Time, Jake, Flynn and Jake investigations. No way. I'm not kidding. Oh I'm my god. On it. Just to prove it to you. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Yep, there we go. Oh, You can wow. buy a new for $50. There is an Adventure Time <laughs> game coming out for Xbox. Oh, my Breaking God. Breaking news. My mind just got blown. Speaking of which, new South Park game. The oh. Fractured Butthole, dude. Come on. <laughs> come on, man. Just the name alone. <laughs> just the words. name alone. South Park. They said they weren't going to do a sequel, but they're doing it. Halo 5 Guardians? Halo 5, of course, coming out. Um, we got Divinity Original Sin I want to play. It looks it's an, it looks like an action, um, kind of D&D-ish, uh, Dragon Age RPG. Looks pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a, it's a top-down, so, uh, they've had, they've added some aesthetics in there. Like, Another game they're bring. oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, I was, I was just gonna say, like, um... So, you could actually play co-op in Divinity Original Sin. And, you know, you could walk around with your buddy. And then, it, even if you guys split off, like, you'll split the screen in half. So, you can still <laughs> go to your respective locations instead of being like, No, I want to go this way. No, I want to go that way. No, I'm going to pull the screen this way. No, it is. And it's just uh, a yeah. mess. But It's like Gauntlet. Yeah. Like <laughs> a freaking Gauntlet, dude. But um, another game that they're bringing back is uh, Just Cause 3. Oh. Um, it, I don't know. There was always like a like an interesting aspect to that game. Yeah, it uh, it's a, it's always it's always been a really clean game too. Yeah. Like um, when I saw the video at E three, my jaw just dropped. Like <laughs> the like the cover. Like it's it's not even cover after like five seconds. You just the bullets just decimate the cover, and you know the particles flying off and everything and the stuff you can do yeah isn't it like a sandboxy kind of game yeah 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 more or less it's they're they're trying to go in that direction so it's kind of like you still have to go to this one location but you decide how you want to get there yeah. kind of thing um, so it's half like that also mirror's edge <sighs> cataclysm uh, they're bringing back Mirror's Edge, and it looks pretty good. Which, by the way, they have a um, pre-order pack for Mirror's Edge, the new one coming out. It oh, looks yeah. pretty sick. They got some fan art in there. They got a Faith uh, statue, if you're a collector like that. Uh, I have not heard of Scalebound at all. Um, 
what's scale bound about? I think I've heard of Quantum Break, but uh, I don't know. Quantum, it sounds familiar. I don't think I've heard of either one. Uh, yeah, it sounds really familiar, but I could also be thinking about the new Deus Ex game. So I'd have to I'd have to look into that Quantum Break and Scalebound. There's uh, also a kind of like a kind of Monster Hunter kind of game. I think it's called Horizon or something. Uh, it's basically it's basically just like a Monster Hunter uh, version of basically mechanical dinosaurs. I mean, come on. Mechanical dinosaurs. Yeah, you're killing you're killing mechanical dinosaurs with a freaking electric bow. Oh, you know what? I have heard of Scalebound. Is that one where you have a dragon? Uh, I'll find a video for you. Yeah, go. I, I feel I feel like I've seen all these, but I mean I probably haven't. On YouTube. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, that's right. Mad Max comes out on the first of September. There you go, Furley. Thank you for that. So uh, it's this game where the guy has the sword, and I think he has like a dragon arm or something, and then uh, yeah, he fights like these giant beasts. Oh yeah, dude, that looks. I've seen this trailer. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have seen this. No, it looks. It looks pretty. It looks pretty sick, dude. Yeah, I like uh the design on these um. And the dragons and the monsters, but what throws me off is the Beats audio around his neck. Oh yeah, I know, right? That. Like what? Do you, <laughs> all right, I mean. Yeah, you got listen it. to your favorite song while you go stab a monster in the face. Yeah. Wait, what kind of music do you listen to? Come on, really? <laughs> I don't know. Dragon slaying. Music. Everybody's got to throw in their little advertisement in games nowadays. You know, Destiny's yeah, got Red Bull. The game looks cool. Like, <laughs> It's like, um, oh, I, don't, looks, I forget the name of the game, but it reminds me of this It looks kind of like Devil May Cry. Yeah, it's got honest. a little, there you go, Devil May Cry. It's got a little bit of those elements in there. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll definitely. And you have a dragon. I'll definitely have a badass have to, who, companion. Who doesn't like dragons? Who doesn't like know. dragons? I want a fucking dragon. I really do. Like, come on. Is that a thing? That, that has to be a thing. Let's make it a thing. All right. <laughs> Um, fucking dragon, bro. Oh, the new Doom game. Oh, oh my, my god, god, yes. Dude, that chainsaw. <laughs> oh, man, Oh, dude. my god. And Just, like, there uh, are, like, literally literally 15 seconds of teasers, and they they all just look phenomenal, man. It, I just can't wait for the new Doom game. Uh, it's going to be great. The shotguns just like, ripping them apart. That oh, double man. barrel shotgun <laughs> looks so sexy, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's have... just like, finally, we're getting a. I don't. I don't know. Like, I say finally because, uh, Doom Three didn't really impress me yeah. as much as I was hoping it would. But this one looks good. I I think it was like, um, it was Doom Three. I think I think what really killed Doom Three was that it was just way too goddamn long. Like, oh, you yeah. you went you went to Mars. You went to level one, two, three, four, five. You went to another area, one, two, three, four. Another area, one, two, three, four, five. Like it would just go on and on and on. And it's just <laughs> like, okay, can I like get off the planet? Can I find the portal to hell? Can I progress in this game? And oh, man. It, Dave the Dragon just really wants to talk about. Um, that three screen racing chair. Oh my god, that looks so the sick. Hydraulic. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want that? Dude, it go guys, go ahead check out that video real quick. This thing looks so sick. Um, I I feel like I've seen a couple of videos of it before, but I mean, who doesn't want like a 3D motion chair while you're playing a fucking game? Dude, seriously, like why not? Fallout 4 puppy hype. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to the get that. The puppy, puppy hype is real. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually, I actually had a page of images for you guys. Oh, here we go. 
we have a little we have a little game spot um one of those little kind of like photo trailers well not trailers you can't really you know it's like a slideshow whatever but it's got some nice fall images if you want to go see it go check out some of the fallout stuff it it looks so sick like you it looks like you get your own kind of like robot to actually like says your name more or less Really? I, don't, I don't know if it's your character name or if it's the name you create, but um, dude, Fallout Four is gonna be sick. I am excited. All the customization. Yeah, dude. Oh uh, man, Shadows, welcome to the stream. By the way, what's going on, man? How are you doing? What's good? <laughs> Her stone plus super chair. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, let's play Hearthstone with this steering wheel. I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> uh, the new Forza with that steering Oh, tune. my God, that That'd would be, be so... You know, I actually want to try... Um, if I would get that, I would want to try Grid. Grid? Oh, I have the original Grid. Yeah, Grid was, Grid was a really good game. Like, I mean, for being like kind of like the only racing game in its series it was just it's a pretty solid track based game yeah <laughs> fallout Shadows is really likes that puppy <laughs> fallout dog 4 is good before the it, dude have you seen the dog like i mean dude you the fact Old that you German get Shepherd. a dog in fucking um <laughs> but other than that, I've been <laughs> shitty. <laughs> it's okay, dude. Uh, Fallout's coming soon. It's okay. I know how it's you feel. Okay. End Shh. of summer. Shh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Summer's coming up. School. People are going back to school. I know, guys. It sucks. It really does. But, I mean... Dude. I mean, the dog, the dog looks like it's going to be programmed to be very smart. And you'll be able to give it commands. I wonder... I wonder how far they're going to go with it. Um, you know, if you're going to be able to, like, kind of more or less train your dog. To what do happens if the dog dies? I don't... That See, that that's another question. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> what if the dog dies? What if, you know, if there is some kind of training aspect, what if the dog doesn't listen to you? You know... What if your dog turns on you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What if your dog gets radiation poisoning and you know starts attacking you, and you gotta put your down your dog? Off. Like, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to kill you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna virtually rub my dog's belly. He's gonna be like, well, what if your character rubs his belly so much the dog gets irritated and then attacks you? Yeah, what well, the dog the dog starts biting you because you rubbed its belly too much. Like, how far are they gonna go with coating this dog? I like, don't know. Infinite possibilities, dude. Infinite possibilities. Uh, you guys could have your dirty Sanchez moment on another. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Sanchez! You like, kind of like this thing right here. Kinda. <laughs> All right. The uh, Hitler beard. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I had a dog. What? Um, okay. But not under my shoot. What? Shit on your sock, but not under your shoe. What? Okay. I just stopped reading that one. I, I don't even know. I come uh, uh, furly. I don't. I don't even know, man. <laughs> all right. All right. Comment down with more rubs. <laughs> <laughs> the belly rubs will soothe the beast, dude. Oh my, oh my god. god. Have you have you seen my fucking like when my sister gives my gives uh, her dog's fucking belly rubs? Like he will calm the fuck down. Like really? you've seen how crazy he is, but oh, the once black you, dog. Yeah. Uh, once you rub his belly, he'll just be like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm submissive, <laughs> but uh, I mean, it it just it just goes into how much they're gonna code for that dog. I mean, they've already coded like a creation program. You know, it's bound to be sick. It's bound to be really, really cool. I think it's gonna be like probably game of the year. Well, well of course, I don't know. Star Wars yeah. is also coming out, uh, but Fallout. Fallout 4 is coming in 2016, right? Is it? I think so. 
Maybe I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let's check uh, our sources <laughs> real quick. But um, so there's a new Xbox. Oh, it's coming out eleven ten. Oh really? This, oh, this year, okay. Yeah. So they're gonna be battling for the fucking game of the year. And then Star Wars Battlefront comes out a week later. Yeah. Uh, 11, 17. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so are people gonna buy Star Wars right when it comes out, or are they gonna wait till they beat Fallout Four and then splurge on Star Wars? I mean, like it's a it's a thing because you know they're both. They're both from different genres, and or you could buy both and have like a really unproductive next six months. <laughs> you know that's gonna be me, dude. Black Ops, Star Wars, Fallout. You're not gonna Hauling see to me. Calling to work, saying I'm sick. Yeah, it's that stomach flu is back again. <laughs> Come into work. You're not gonna see me for the next <laughs> year, bro. Uh, like maybe when uh, Rainbow, uh, when no. freaking Division comes out, but that's it. We're going to have to wait so long for Doom. The oh. new Doom. Um. 531 16. <laughs> Ouch. Philly. Phil, do you like belly ribs? Do you, I like do belly ribs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anyone that doesn't like a good belly rib. Watch him do your every command. <laughs> Dude, that's the secret to everything. Just give somebody a belly rub and they'll just be like, ah, oh, ah, oh, okay, okay, I'm good. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> but uh, there's a new, uh, not not necessarily a new game for uh, Xbox Gold this month, oh, but a new. Yeah. Um, I guess. Oh, shadows is following. Shadows, thank you for following, bro. We appreciate it. Amazing. Every follow. We love you, man. We love you all. Equally. A spread across. Non exponentially. That's how you get girls to make you a sandwich. You just rub their belly. Ah, oh, dude, I've been doing it wrong yeah. this whole time. Fuck, dude, Shadow, where were you like five years ago, man? <laughs> where were you? <laughs> but uh, how to survive Storm Warning Edition is coming to Xbox Gold for free. You can uh, go on to your Xbox One and download it. It's going to be nice. Uh, I, I played a little bit of the first How to Survive. You know, it's not bad. It's kind of like... It's not really... It's like a 3D... Not necessarily a top-down, but it's no, kind of like... It's got an it, angle to it. Yeah, it's... But, um... It's got that angle. But, um... I don't... It... It was a very solid game. Like you, you create campfires, you create weapons. You know, you you're basically surviving on this island against you know these zombies or you know whatever else is in it. But how to survive? Storm warning edition. Go ahead, pick it up on Xbox. I mean, it's it's free I mean there's for a Xbox on, One for Xbox One for everyone else it's 20 bucks cause Microsoft doesn't love us <laughs> no, right? that, that's assuming it comes out for like PS4 and stuff does it come out for PC I don't know that, I know how to I, survive is on Steam yeah I wouldn't I'm see sure I wouldn't see why not like I mean if it's shadows that's a lot of bellies to rub all those zombies? Oh, dude, that's so... They might eat your hand, bro. You might want to be careful with that one. You really would. Uh, I. You might actually touch some guts. It, uh, you might want yeah, to sanitize. Those, uh, they might not have bellies. They, may have, <laughs> they like, might not have bellies. They have intestines. intestines. <laughs> Rub their intestines. Rub their stomachs. They'll never eat again. <laughs> They'll become your zombies. Make like... um. Make like, uh, what is it, Michonne and fucking uh, Walking Dead just chop their... Oh, yeah, chop off their jaw. Yeah, their, their jaw, their arms. They can't do shit. All they do is walk around. Infinite belly rubs. <laughs> but, uh, oh, my God. Dude, so Copenhagen Wolves is coming back to Counter-Strike, bro. They're, like, after... 
after a long while, like, they were out of the scene mm. for a very long time. Like, it's, I don't, I want to say at least a year they were out of the, the CSGO scene. Yeah. So, uh, Copenhagen Wolves are back with a new team. They're, uh, the new three Norwegian players, Morten Volen, Ruben Bolario, but, oh my god, I can't, I can't even pronounce Norwegian names, and Joachim <laughs> Marosbad, Maros, Maros Stad? I applaud you for trying. Yeah, Those dude. names are like... <laughs> oh my god. Zeb, Robinho, and Jacob, you know, joining the team. They're, so, Copenhagen Wolves, Danish, um, w originally a Danish team, they're now branching out into different regions. They're not, you know, that's, that was their, that was their one thing, is they were focusing a lot on the geographical location of Danish people and not really expanding yeah, where those teams, teams are like that they'll, uh, they'll be from a certain country I guess it's because in Europe uh, every country kind of has its own language so and Counter-Strike's a very you know communication heavy game it really so is really gotta, yeah I don't know <laughs> Who oh, the way to a girl's heart is a rubber meow. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But um, yeah, I'm actually like, I haven't. I'm excited to see them play. Like, do you think? Do you think? Okay, so the question is, do you think their new team is gonna stack up to the new CS:GO competition? Uh, I don't know, cause uh, I was watching a lot of the ESO, and. Cloud Nine's doing really good. Um, Counter Logic Gaming, like the American teams, are actually really making it further than they once had before. Uh, Ninjas in Pajamas won ESO, but I mean they kind of win a lot of oh, the time. Yeah, almost all uh, the time. Pretty much ninety percent win or a hundred percent win. I don't know. No, it, eh, I don't know. I, mean, I I think I think Ninja in Pajamas is really always going to be the team to beat for at least a long while. Oh, yeah, at least for the next couple of years, because they've been the reigning champs for so long. Yeah, they are the team to beat. They have like the best lineup of players. Uh, their strategies are on point. So at least until Elite Gaming comes in and swoops. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day. With head coach Philly Cheese. <laughs> right? And Furley. And Furley. Furley, you getting in on this? Come on, dude. Yeah, we were C playing last night. CSGO team, baby. Let's go, baby. We're going to do this. So, um, we're going to do this. Chat. What did you think about ESO? Because I know you were playing ESO for a while. ESO. Uh, okay, so... The thing with ESO is... <laughs> the thing about ESO... The, the thing, okay, <laughs> so I don't want to start it like that because it makes it sound really bad. ESO is a really good game. It really is. For what it is, it's um, it's what you would expect. It's the, it's the Elder Scrolls universe, you know, put online, basically. So, I mean... It's not uh, like a direct Skyrim port to online or anything. It's just the Elder Scrolls universe ported to online. And the grind... <laughs> yeah, so a <is> solid dookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, didn't... Oh, no. But um, the grind is definitely real. Like, oh, my God. It takes so uh, long to I don't level. have the time to grind like that no so. dude it's like like there's I mean. there's you can tell that there's different sections you know like you know how wow has those different areas where yeah. you know the monsters get big, bigger and stuff but it literally it literally took me days to get to the like you know of course i wasn't playing like Eight like eight twelve hours per day, but it took me a couple of days to get to the new section of quests and be able to progress. And I did every single quest, and I still felt like I was behind. Really? Like, That's not it's good. It's just 
It's just a really intensive grind when to that game. you die in a game, you die in real life. <laughs> right, Shadows? For real, dude. For real. But overall, I think, like, you know, if you need, if you want uh, Elder Scrolls fix and you have a couple friends with the game, like, go ahead, power around with them, like, power around. You know, start start a new character together and pillage a village. Yeah, that that's another thing though. It's like, you know, if somebody gets too far ahead of you, it's like it's basically like them one-shotting people versus you kind of like actually engaging in battle. So, it's not it's like if somebody gets way too far ahead of you, it's not it's not really fun anymore. So, you got to you got to keep you and your friends on the same level throughout the game if you want to if you want to like play and experience everything together but overall ESO is a really good game shout out to Colby I'm back just join the channel Colby what's <laughs> good man how you doing Oblivion and Skyrim but, were great um ESO is not my cup of grind tea yeah I I don't know. Little Gerardo, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining in, man. But, um, yeah, I I really do agree with you. It's it's definitely not like Oblivion and Skyrim at all. It's a new... I mean, I don't, I don't want to say it's a new, completely different direction. Because, you know, there's... Like I said, it's still the ESO universe. You're still doing quests. You're still getting stuff done, and you know you're gonna you're gonna see some recognizable factors that you would see in Elder Scrolls and Skyrim, but it's definitely not one of those straight ports to online, like <laughs> pe some people expected. I, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I I like the blue. Game. I actually played the shit out of Oblivion. Oh against Skyrim yeah. I don't know why. Little hey. Gerardo, thank you for following, for man. Woo! We appreciate that. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. But um, yeah. I bought I bought the I bought every DLC for Oblivion. Like I played the shit. I put maybe almost 200 hours into Oblivion just alone and I got so pissed one day I literally think I have like three achievements left on that game and one of them is to become an archmage and I swear to god that it glitched on me like I swear to god that I'm an archmage and I just don't have the achievement like I don't have any more mages quests I, every time I go in the Mages Guild, there's nothing there. I just, I That's swear, sad. I just didn't get the achievement. I was like, I was like, no, I only need three more achievements. And that's after getting all the DLC achievements, which, by the way, you couldn't get them all on one playthrough unless you saved the game, reverted back, and then did the other opposite quest line, basically. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, I kind of manipulated that a bit, but it worked out for me. I got both the achievements without creating, like, two or three characters. So, I was happy about that. But, yeah, Oblivion, Skyrim, great games. Yeah, so, it's, it's up there, man. They're, they're creating, they're coming out with updates. It's not exactly a pay-to-win game yet, which is good. I haven't tried the PvP yet. Um, I I kind of want to, but I kind of don't, just because I feel like it'll be just overwhelmingly, you know, filled with a bunch of shit. Yeah, bunch of I don't shit. know. Um, you definitely need friends to play ESO. Like that's yeah. what really makes it. It's fun. like in the PvP kind of run around as a pack, and like yeah. if you don't know these people, you're literally just following somebody to their death or your death. Yeah, or the, death. and the thing with. Um, Oblivion and Skyrim is like with it you know it it still kept you entranced with the game you know even though you knew you were playing by yourself you still had that aspect every now and again like 
oh my god, this game just got really intense. It got really intense. ESO just doesn't have that feel. It's it, kind of just like... Yeah, it's, it's like any other MMO. Like, go do this quest for me because I'm too lazy. Go do this. Go do that. Go go over that. And there's like... It's like you don't feel insanely rewarding, rewarded. No. And then the whole crafting system is a thing to get used to in itself. You know, it it's just... I don't know. ESO, it's a great game. If you like it, go ahead, pick it up. But, um... I'll, uh, fucking Oblivion and Skyrim definitely beat the shit out of it. Yeah, I'm not definitely. gonna lie. Yeah. Uh... Same true for the... <laughs> Oh, uh, man. You know, I actually... Oblivion or Skyrim? I actually have not... I played Saints Row 3, actually. Saints uh, Row was ridiculous. It, it was. It, <laughs> like, the, I know that was the point. The but. one time I played it, I was just like, what am I... Am I... Like, is this a movie or is this a game? Like, what's going on? Is I don't... I don't I'm not even sure. Oh, uh, which... Uh, which one did I like better? Wow. You know, I'm going... <sighs> I'm going to say Skyrim, because I actually got to play that more. And the graphics and scenery of Skyrim was really good. Like, outstanding. You know, I... I don't know. I really... I enjoyed the shit out of Skyrim. I liked every single dragon fight. I like, you know, the amount of quests that you can do. You know, I think I think Skyrim was not not exactly a better game, but it built on top of what Oblivion did not have, and Oblivion, you know, kind of having its buggy moments and all, was still a great game, great DLC, great content. You know, I I think I'm gonna have to go with Oblivion. I really do. So as, Colby, as much Colby's as back. I love it, <laughs> Colby's back, back again. Oh wait, <laughs> okay, we're getting off topic. I did that backwards. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get on. But, let's get on a specific topic here. Um, we've been talking about ESO and all that stuff a lot. I wanna, I wanna go back to uh, ESO. Uh, and, uh, oh yeah, ninjas and pajamas taking it, dude. Yeah. Did you see? Um, I did not actually. This I, guy right here cried. What? Yeah, see that trophy in the background? Yeah. Yeah, he was like sitting in front of it, just like crying, and like it was kind of awkward because the whole other team was just over like high fiving everybody, and this guy right here is kind of just like. Oh crying. yeah. <laughs> Colby, I'm hey, back. Colby, thanks, I'm back. Thanks for following, bro. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, but. I, um, I don't I don't want to hate on him because I'd probably do the exact. I same mean, he thing. won. A, their team won a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, dude. Like that's a, like if I if I won a major tournament, I would just be like so overwhelmed. Like, uh, holy shit, my team just made it this far, and we. And won Fnatic this. is not an easy team to just. Beat. They're they're not. They you know, they're, they're really on point with all their. All their shit, dude. But, uh, yeah, CSGO is getting so big right now. Like, every major tournament, they're getting bigger. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to get to one of those main stages, like uh, League of Legends and StarCraft 2. It's gonna get there eventually. Oh, yeah. Uh... I mean, yeah, my, my thoughts, it, <laughs> should, it should definitely be there already, but, I mean... It's it's had a slow start. It really has. Yeah, I mean, ever since one point, like it actually feels like one point six had a better competitive scene than CS:GO did for like it whoa. starting out. One point six, yeah, it was pretty good, but I don't know. Um, it was it was actually really big, but then um, what was it? Source Counter Strike Source kind of killed it, um, and now they're bringing it back. With, uh, with, uh, hmm? what's going on in chat right now? <laughs> I don't even know. 
All right, but anyways, uh, to get back on point, I got distracted. Sorry about that. Uh, 1.6 had a big following for the competitive scene. Source kind of died off because no one really liked. I mean, the competitive gamers didn't like Source. Source to me was more about like the mods and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, yeah, CS:GO is bringing it back. All the 1.6 pros are coming back, switching over to Go. Uh, I think it's just gonna just escalate from here. I'm I'm really excited to uh, to you know get a team together. I really am. Uh, CS:GO. I I told you I was talking to a league team. They're uh, they're supposed to be sending me a couple videos. I'm gonna see how they how they play. Talk talk to them a bit. Um, that would be cool. I mean, like. I, all these teams coming, dude. Uh, COD, League, gonna get that CS:GO team, dude. Want to get that Hots team going? Oh my god. Um, but yeah, COD Ghost, COD Ghost was a favorite COD game. You know, uh, I don't. There's a dog in it. There's, <laughs> there's a dog in it. There's a dog in it. Uh, uh, I don't think you can rub its belly, though. Pet, pet the puppy. No, the dog will definitely eat the fuck out of you. That That's for damn sure. I, I didn't... I really didn't like Ghost. I'm going to be completely Nobody honest. Nobody liked Ghost. I'm sorry. I, you know, there, there's a select few people that played, that, you know, played the shit out of Ghost. But I, I just couldn't get into it. That and um, Ghost and Advanced Warfare kind of like, you know, I kind of, I don't really like actually comparing the two. What I really didn't like was Modern Warfare 3 and Ghost. Like, those, those are just the clump of... I didn't really play either one. I didn't. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I just... But, uh, continue the tangent. Um... Looks like we got a couple more people in chat. Just want to shout out to uh, Wizard Glide. Uh, as he just says hi, what's up, man? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> See, I'm on top of this. What's up, um, Wizard Glide? How you doing? And Ty Brady, eighty one. Ty Brady, eighty one. Eighty one. How's it going, buddy? What's good, man? Don't Tebow us. <laughs> what? I don't know. I just saw the football. Don't us. I just saw the football reference for whatever stupid <laughs> yeah, reason. Okay. Right. But yeah, um, I don't know. Cod, Cod Ghost. It was kind of it was a hit or miss with a lot of people, and uh, it was it was definitely a bump Man. in the franchise. But I am excited for Black Ops Three. I really am. Hey guys, and then the other side is. Wait, hey guys, and then <laughs> what? I don't know what's going on. I, I, don't, um, I don't. I'm not even sure. You took care of blah, 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 blah. Uh, wait, who's gay? I'm gay? We're all gay. Dude, we're all gay. All right. We're all happy. We're all happy <laughs> gay. We're all happy oh, gay here. <laughs> I've been much more than a couple weeks. I'm not a... Wait, no, what? Wizard? What are you talking about, man? Hey guys, I don't have. Oh. Okay. A few weeks the other side. Have you? Oh, I. I don't know. It sounds like he's saying that he's been here before. Oh. I don't know. I'm. Was I? Maybe. Maybe I'm just reading the sentence wrong. I'm tired. I really am. I can't. <laughs> I can't function right now. It's. It's getting there. It's getting there. <laughs> Sorry about that, wizard. But um. <laughs> Man, dude, thank you, thank you all for coming. This is r ridiculous. God damn. We're so glad that you guys are here. Uh, let's jump on one of our final topics tonight. I know a lot of people are going to love this. Destiny expansion, The Taken King, is coming. And we got some confirmed stuff for you guys. Starting off with two pages of vaults. Dude. Two pages? Two pages of vault space. 
So many people are going to love that. Like, that's been one of the number one requested features in Destiny is to have more vault space to put your exotic weapons and all that. Well, yeah, I mean, you're grinding for yeah. who knows how long. And, you know, all those hoarders, like, dude, I want every single weapon. I want to upgrade everything. <laughs> all those times we... Off to the, the top. top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. When was that? I don't even know. Someday. <laughs> it was probably a long time ago. My memory is shit. I'm, I'm just going to tell you all right now. My memory is shit. But I dig it. I dig. I dig. I dig. We're all digging. <laughs> but, um, yeah, dude. So, there's more vault space coming to the Taken King. Everybody's going to love that. I know for a fact. Uh, they're doing... So, they're taking out... They're not... Well, okay. I take that back. They're not taking out the white system uh, to level up, but instead they're increasing the level cap to 40, apparently, which is going to be pretty sick. And so uh, your white level on your armor will actually basically determine how much damage you can take without dying. So it's kind of like... You're, you're not losing the ability, like, your light level on your armor is not going to be useless. Like, the more light you have, the more damage you can take, the more, you know, the more action you're just going to be going into. So, I mean, you're going to you're gonna still want that light level. And now you can actually get an experience grind to 40. You don't have to rely on... Oh, I did this raid. I didn't get this piece of gear, so I'm not going to level up. Which was more or less one of the most annoying things in Destiny, yeah, I must say. It's like, it's like, dude, I got I got a exotic piece and an exotic gun, but you got full raid gear and you're still <laughs> higher than me. Like, come on. Like, it's, it's just one of those things, I, I don't know. It's like every time we talk about Destiny, it's just like, can you believe this is a thing? Yeah. I don't they know. need to get it together. But, I mean, they're they're doing it. So, uh, they're also changing the currencies, which um, instead of... Uh, instead of... Uh, instead of the regular Crucible and Vanguard currencies, there's a now actually Legendary currencies, which are basically universal to buying all your items and stuff so they're not they're going to combine that and it's going to be easier to grind those points out uh it looks like they're doing a lot of changes on the quest interface which looks really nice the oh my gosh the the new quest pages just look insane honestly you guys have to read this with us we're going through uh, line by line. Uh, so, uh, one of the things they did change, though, is you're not you're not going to be able to actively switch factions anymore. Which um, uh, factions would basically grant you access to better weapons? Can't do it like once a week now. Yeah. So. Yeah. So what used to happen is you can you would have different bands from different factions and when you while you're wearing that band per se you will you would get reputation for completing quests with that faction but so what they're doing now is you're going to be you're going to be set to a specific faction so basically I mean you could grind out one faction for a week and then change over to another faction. So it, they're not exactly taking out the whole aspect of, you know, grinding for everything. But you're not going to be able to, you know, hey, I want to I want to run with Dead Orbit this match. And then I want to run with somebody else this match, you know. So mm -hmm. they're kind of slowing down the grind in a sense, which is kind of good. Um, I haven't heard any complaints from it yet, 
So it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. And then the new the new emblems and the new shaders just look phenomenal. I mean, it's just if uh, I don't know if it didn't if it wouldn't take so much effort for me to get back into Destiny, I probably would <laughs> after this. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like. I don't know. It's like uh, another Diablo three. It it kind of is like they're but they're they're trying to they're trying to cut back on the huge grinding. <laughs> vape is life. Yeah, dude. All about that vape nowadays. <laughs> Maybe we should meet and get together. No, but. Uh, I don't know. They're so they're they're kind of they're kind of taking out the whole grinding aspect. Like you're not gonna Those straight have to grind for everything. But I don't, I don't know. It's it's a decent expansion coming out, and I'm actually I'm actually not, I'm actually down to see how it turns out, especially with the new uh, voiceover for for the ghost. I want to see how. New voice actor. Oh my god! I want to see. I just want to see a Ghost with a new voice. Like, I want to hear Nolan North just once. I'm just gonna go over to my friend's house and be like, "Dude, make him talk. <laughs> make, make him, him talk. Say something right now. <laughs> right now. Uh. In Mortal Kombat, you can play as movie characters like Jason. And the Predator and Freddy Krueger. What characters would you like to see in Mortal Kombat? Um, hmm. I don't know. I Mortal Kombat. I don't. I I've been meaning to comp the new Mortal Kombat for the longest time. Like I s absolutely suck at fighting games, but Mortal Kombat is like. It's one of those games like I the always have to do. Man. The fatalities, bro. Fatalities For real. Alone. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't think they should go too exotic with the characters in Mortal Kombat. Like, I think I think Jason and Freddy Krueger were a nice, nice little touch to Mortal Kombat. You know, kind of with the whole gruesome aspect. But yeah. I think that's where they should. They really shouldn't go too much farther because it will get a little cliche and they will start running out of ideas. Well, they're kind of known for being over the top gory in their uh, brutalities and fatalities. So, yeah. I mean, that's just kind of like their little area that they excel in. But, you know. I don't know. Oh. It's. Um, <coughs> I, I definitely still want to get Mortal Kombat eventually. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Fighting games for me is like they're fun for like a couple weeks, and then I'm like, oh, I've done this matchup. I've lost a million times already. Yeah. Uh, for time real. to. I mean, but they're good to come back to every once in a while. So <laughs> you know, if you like that kind of a game, definitely go for it. <laughs> uh, so, so what do you think about Rainbow Siege? Rainbow Dude, Six Siege. I, I am ready it looks for pretty, that. It looks interesting. Uh. I watched some beta footage on Twitch, and it looked worth buying, uh, but they just delayed it to December. <laughs> PC Master Race. No, uh, I'm I'm waiting for my beta code. Like, that's what I'm waiting for. It, it looks like, I don't know, it looks like a basic Rainbow Six game, but with um, CSGO kind of feel to it, with, like, the whole breach and clear and the whole bomb defusal and stuff like that I'm actually really excited um for Rainbow Six Siege I really am yeah but now you're gonna have to wait until who knows when in December I know dude that was so sad when you oh, said oh god wizard turned on me now <laughs> uh, it's okay man it's okay right. but okay. um Man, I'm ready. I'm ready for Siege. I'm I'm ready for all these Rainbow Six games. Um, There's gonna be a lot of good games coming out, dude. 
between uh, now and the December? Siege and the Division is really what I'm looking at towards that whole factoid. The stream crash? Yeah. But, um... Why is it saying the stream I don't crash? Know. I don't think it did. Uh, uh, we're good. Maybe it did. <coughs> but it does matter. We're almost running out of time anyways. Yeah, we're wrapping this up anyway. But, um... Yeah, dude. See, I think you should get on Siege with me. Like, I'd be down. I don't know. I, you probably won't like it better than CSGO, but I think you'll enjoy it at least a little bit. I mean, it's got the aiming down sights. <laughs> I don't mind it. I like to aim down the old sights. <laughs> I like to aim down the old <laughs> sights. Sometimes. I used to play COD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't always aim down sights, but when I do... <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I'm just... So many good games just coming out for both PC and Xbox. It's gonna be a good year, man. It's a good year to be a gamer. I mean... Damn, it feels good to be a gamer. It's it's usually always a good year to be a gamer. Like, for, for some reason or another, it's usually always a good reason. Yeah. I Maybe... Mean, Maybe if it's not for COD, but... Yeah, I mean, COD had some letdowns. Hopefully, um, Black Ops 3 fixes that. Because yeah, if I, it doesn't, I don't know, man. I might just ignore COD for the rest of yeah, my life. No, I am, I am so done with COD if Black Ops 3 isn't just as amazing as it looks. I really need it to be amazing, yeah. The hype needs to be real. <laughs> um, that and Titanfall 2... I'm waiting for that. Um, that'll be interesting. I played the shit out of Titanfall 1. Um, I still do from time to time. I'm still probably losing ranks as we speak. Because <laughs> the fucking <laughs> battle marks keep degrading. But, man. But, man. Uh, I got a pretty awesome link to share in chat. And it is the Fallout 4... Uh, first look kind of picture gallery and if we check it oh, out oh yeah here. throw that back in there dude that there's like there's a dog right there it looks so good rub the belly rub the <laughs> belly right now this is just like from the preview right but it's still, yeah well then no there's some new stuff in here like i haven't seen that before the city yeah dude that gun looks ridiculous yeah i know and like, there's gonna be so many upgrades and stuff. It looks like I can't a, wait to like get into everything. It looks like a Sten submachine gun, but like with a light machine gun feel to it. Oh, I like it. Um, those, I don't know. Like, it, it's just I I just wonder how they're gonna have the interaction in this game. Like, oh, I don't know. how's it gonna be? Especially with the Pip Boy. Ten luck. What's this guy doing? <laughs> He's a lucky guy. He's gonna get. Oh, look at that! Just Space Invaders right there on your. Uh, yeah, dude, you can play games on your Pit Boy. Your it's Pit pretty Boy. cool. I wonder if they're actually gonna put that on the Pit Boy app too. <laughs> that would be interesting. That'd be cool. Oh man. But, sh man. All right, guys, we're gonna. We're going to pretty gonna much wrap, wrap it up, up for the night. Uh, any other last minute topics? You guys got like two minutes to submit. <laughs> two minute warning. Do, 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 do. I'm just going through this gallery. Dude, I was um, I was told the other day that uh, apparently Niles went to a baseball game where um, an umpire, like they were reviewing a call or whatever. And the uh, PA system guy played the Jeopardy music because he was taking so goddamn long. Mm -hmm. And the umpire was like, you're out of here to the PA guy. What? <laughs> like, Can he do that? I don't think so. <laughs> like, bro, dude, that's not, like, uh, no. I, I pay your salary, okay? It's not the other way around. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Like, you can't get me out of here. <laughs> Oh, man. 
chat got a little weird tonight. Dude, chat <laughs> chat escalated like from. It's all right. I dig though. It, <laughs> I dig, I dig. Wizard digs. I dig. All right. <laughs> it um, went it went from one to a hundred. I don't real think fast. anyone's gonna have anything to add um, to this it was, topic list. So it was. Man, we it was a good stream. Like, thank you, thank you all for yeah, coming in, and everybody that followed. Really, <laughs> thank you for it. following. We're uh, gonna be back here same time next week, Wednesday, nine o'clock, nine o'clock Pacific time. Pacific standard. So, uh, are we still in daylight time? What? Like the Pacific daylight time yeah, or some shit? Yeah, it's the same thing. Whatever it's. You know, Pacific, it's, it's always Pacific oh, Standard. Yeah. Forget that. Oh, Ty Brady. Ty Brady, 81. Thank you for following, man. Come on. Thank you so <laughs> much. I love you yeah. all. Hopefully we'll see you next week. Dude, um, I want to see you all here next week. It's going to be a great cast. Did Wizard follow? I feel like we need Wizard. I, I oh, think Wizard followed. Yeah. Ah, there he is. There he is. There he is. What's up, Wizard? Thanks for following, man. We'll be digging on next week. Uh, getting getting on that follow train, dude. We might we might need a follow train count. Dude, Shadows just got pie without us. Bruh. Bruh. Whoa, man. Bruh. Whoa. Bruh. I thought, like, we were friends. I, I dude. He's following us and doesn't bring us pie. Ah, Shadow, man. Fucking up. Come on. Fucking up, fucking up, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right but uh seriously are we wrapping this up i think we're wrapping i don't know up. i think i think i gotta go get some fucking pie now dude well, yeah uh, we gotta get some fucking pie so yeah, we're gonna we're go gonna get go. pie because <laughs> shadow doesn't want to share apparently taking the live stream over to sherry's <laughs> over to sherry's dude <laughs> live stream at sherry's <laughs> But <laughs> you what, mate? You oh what? You talk about me, mum? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, wait, shadows. I have a, I have a link for you. Uh, my There's pie. a picture of the dog. My pie. Uh, my doesn't pie. Doesn't show its belly though. <laughs> I dig the pie, bro. Wizard digs. Ty digs. I dig. We all dig. Philly cheese digs. We dig it, bro. We dig the pie. Let's take this over to Sherry's. Let's go. We're out of here. Two Sherry's. We we need our cast. Outro music. <laughs> Dude. Cue the music. A week cast, episode 27. Dude, thank you all for coming. Same time next week again, Wednesday, 9 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard. We love you all. We couldn't do this Dude. without you guys. Come on. Come on. Show the love. Show the love in the chat. Show the love in the chat. Peace out, guys. Thanks for coming.